So about a year ago, I did a video for you guys called Wow Factor. With that video, I actually highlighted some of the best notes that I love in perfumery, notes that will give you that something else, that edge, that wow factor, as it were. We talked about leather fragrances, boozy fragrances, tobacco-based scents. I think we also talked about honey. We talked about uh, piney, you know, fragrances, you know, coniferous fragrances within that video. In all essence, it was a 20, a top 20 video. So I decided because of so many questions, what is the holy grail for this? What is the best fragrance for that? I decided to start a new series here on the channel in which I'm going to highlight one particular wow factor note. In this case, today, of course, the tobacco. We're going to be talking about fragrances that contain a predominant note of tobacco in them. If you do love this note, like myself, you guys are in for a treat. Get comfortable. This is going to be a top 40 video. Of course, the last 15 are going to be the best and the most, you know, favorite fragrances within the tobacco genre that I love. But all 40 fragrances on this video were highly curated for your reviewing. So stick around. The best tobacco fragrances in the world, or the guide to tobacco, is up next. Just for the record, I don't smoke, nor do I condone smoking. However, I do love me some tobacco in my fragrances. So we're gonna zip right through the first 20, 25 fragrances here, not because they couldn't make a top list, just because for the sake of time. So we're gonna kick off the list here with one. This was actually my first love when it comes to the tobacco note. Now, note that a lot of these fragrances will have a predominant tobacco. However, they could be laced with a piney or coniferous a note or a boozy accord or a leathery facet. You get the drift. This one here is going to be Polo Green, the original Polo from 1978. And this particular fragrance really, I absolutely loved it. I remember smelling it when I was a kid and I just fell in love with it because of that piney, coniferous, almost Christmassy kind of a feel. However, this is a dark leathery and tobacco scent. It's gonna be very green, uh, very oaky, uh, very bold, very pungent. It's not gonna be for everyone, but it is to me a love and hate. For me, of course, a love fragrance. Again, from 1978, one of my favorite tobaccos of all time. I highly suggest you guys at least trying that fragrance just so you can understand that scent profile. Another one that was discontinued, uh, you can actually find this, you know, remade. This was actually a reformulated fragrance, Michael from Michael Kors. And basically what this is, it's going to be a dried fruits and tobacco leaf. Again, very, very nice. Great for dresser situations or dresser occasions, evening time, romantic settings. This is a hidden gem. I believe it was released in 99 or 2001. It was discontinued. It was re-released a few years back. Uh, it is not as pungent as this particular one was. The tobacco nowadays is really in the background, not as, you know, wow factor as if you find an older bottle. And again, the Michael is, you can't go wrong if you find the one that has the Michael across. This is the vintage bottle, this is the one you want. Couldn't do a tobacco video without talking about this particular one. This continued hard to find, fetching a pretty penny out there, but definitely worth checking it out if you can get yourself a bottle. This is Pure Yvonne from Mugler. Uh, Terry Mugler was doing a fantastic job when they were doing these pure fragrances. They had a pure malt one, which is basically a whiskey, a malt version of Mugler. So they took the, the DNA of Mugler and aged in you know barrels and caskets of whiskey. Uh, this one here, Pure Havane, which had a gorgeous, you know, cherry pipe tobacco vibe to it. Discontinued, hard to find, but one of the best tobacco-based designer fragrances in the market, period. If you can get a bottle, do pick up a bottle. I wouldn't pay more than, you know, $200. If you can pick it up for about $125, $150, definitely a great pickup if you do love tobacco. Next up, this one here is from the house of Chopard, which doesn't really get much play here on YouTube or social media for that matter. This is going to be Oud Malakai. Don't get fooled by the name. I know it says Oud Malakai, but this is basically an Oud and tobacco uh, combination, which is very similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud. However, you have a heavy dose of vanilla and amber in the base, which makes this a little bit more tolerable than Tobacco Oud from Tom Ford. Not as pungent, not as bold, but a great scent nevertheless. The dried down is going to be ambery and vanillic, giving the scent almost a gourmand facet to it. One of my all-time favorite tobacco fragrances, very hard to find these days. The time I'm shooting this video, this is actually available. It would have made my top 10 for sure if I could just pick this up anytime, anywhere. I do have a backup bottle. This is Robert Graham's Fortitude. This is basically a boozy tobacco with leather. Very creamy. There's a gorgeous sandalwood here as well. Hard to find, but like I said, the time I'm shooting this video, you can actually pick up a bottle readily at fragranceby.ca, which is the partner of this channel. Again, all fragrances will be listed as always to make your life easier. Fortitude to me is a fantastic fragrance, sadly discontinued and one that every time I see it pop up on Fragrance Buy, I grab myself a backup bottle. I have two backup bottles, including this one, and it is a phenomenal scent. If it was readily available anywhere, anytime, 
it would make my top 10 in this video in every tobacco video for that matter. So check Robert Graham's Fortitude, you're gonna love it. Speaking of great buying proposition, you know, this has performance, it smells amazing, and the price is just absolutely amazing what you can find this fragrance for. It's a cheapy but great. This is English Laundry's Windsor Pour Homme. Now this is going to be, if you're familiar with Wajan from Parfums de Marley, if you know Umber Nargi from, from Hermes, Picture those fragrances with the gorgeous ambery tobacco, sweet pipe tobacco meets a fougere, like a Zara Perron, for example. This is what you get with Windsor Perron. This is a hidden gem. I talked about this fragrance years ago when it was first released, I believe in 2015 or 2016, who the hell remembers now? But I'm telling you, this is a phenomenal fragrance for the price. You can't beat it, you're gonna smell great. And the combination of notes here with that tobacco is just second to none. Uh, these two here are going to be cheapies, but great also if you're getting into the tobacco game, if you want something that's inexpensive and that's gonna make you smell great, you can go with CK1 Shock or you can go with Burberry London. The only difference between the two, they're very similar in profile, very cheapy out there. You can find them for great pricing. Performance could be better. You know, they've been reformulated, of course. This is Christmas in the bottle. The pine here, the green coniferous piney, pine cone vibe will be a lot more prevalent than CK1 Shock. CK1 Shock goes into a different spicier, uh, you know, profile but they're both very similar and great. If you're getting into tobacco, they're gonna to be pleasant, great for compliments, and they're gonna make you smell amazing. Speaking of great for compliment, making you smell amazing, if you want an ambery tobacco that's sweet and sassy, guys, check out Dolce & Gabbana Pour Homme. The Eau de Parfum is my choice because it's a little better in performance. The tobacco here is going to be sweet, ambery, uh, a little bit spicy. There's definitely a heavy dose of cinnamon here as well. But this is going to be, perhaps from everything I'm talking about here, the most universally appealing tobacco uh, fragrance on this list. So if you're looking for one to get started and you want compliments and you want to smell great, this one here will fit the bill perfectly. Perhaps the best, you know, when, it, when you factor everything in, you know, performance, pricing, and the likability of the scent, the best entry-level tobacco fragrance in the market today, the Ziders. However, you have one here that's called Sweet Made Tobacco, or Sweet Men Made Tobacco 1821. This, this particular fragrance is another hidden gem, a very nice take on the sweet pipe tobacco that's laced with red wine. So it's gonna be boozy, leathery, and tobacco. Ambery, spicy as well. Definitely tons of ambers here, adding a little bit of a smoky facet to the fragrance. Absolutely fantastic in performance. The juice is beautifully ambery. The tobacco here is great as well, very pleasant, but it's gonna have that smoky facet that perhaps can turn some people away. I like wearing this when it's really cold out, and for the price point proposition for this fragrance and the performance and the smell, it's another one that you really can't go wrong. Check this out if you haven't. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. So we just had 10 fragrances that I talked about, and again, these are going to be the 10 I just talked about. Some of these are, were hard to find, but you can still try to find them out there, perhaps on Facebook groups or eBay or whatever. But, you know, go with caution because you don't want to get caught with a, you know, fake. So make sure you purchase from reputable sources. If I have found some of these, just like Robert Graham's uh, Fortitude, I'll have everything listed in the, in the uh, description of this video to make your life easier. Now, I'm going to give you 10 more before I hop into the top 15. And we're going to go with Victor and Roth's Spice Bomb. A lot of people talk about Spice Bomb Extreme, which is a little bit spicier, I could say. However, the original from 2012, this is actually an OG bottle, to me is the best one from this line. If you like a entry level, spicy and sweet and sassy tobacco, still universally appealing, easy to wear and great for compliments. Still in the designer game here, if you want something that's a little bit more mature, I would go with Bulgari Man in Black. It's gonna be the same facet, same kind of a profile, very similar that is, with Spice Bomb from Victor and Roth, a more mature version of Spice Bomb. This is going to be spicier. Uh, you have the rum note here, which adds the boozy facet, which I love, you know, I favor. And of course, the gorgeous leathery and tonka vibe that you have in the base. This is a little bit more mature, a little bit more refined, a little bit more well put together. You know, even though they have shared similarities with profiles, I would go with Bulgari Men in Black anytime, any day. Definitely my pick if you go on that route. Now, another one that I love, you know, if you like the nightlife, if you like to go out clubbing, if you love your boozy scents and obviously your tobacco leathery scents, I would go with Jess Club from Mason Margiela. This is a great one. It smells amazing, great for compliments. It's gonna make you smell great. It's got a lot of textures and volumes to the fragrance, but the star players are going to be the leather, that tobacco with a gorgeous, you know, rum up top. Really, really love this stuff. Underrated stuff here. You don't hear m many people talking about it, but I'm telling you, when it comes to the scent itself and the actual coupling factor that you get with this fragrance, you know, paired with the pricing, Jazz Club is a great one to work with if you do love the note of tobacco. Now, I'm gonna give two fragrances here that have similar profiles when it comes to a more aromatic, clean, easy to wear tobacco. 
We have Molten Brown's Tobacco Absolute. There's also an Eau de Parfum version of this fragrance, which is a darker bottle. And one of my favorite aromatic clean tobaccos to rock. This is going to be from Santa Maria Novella. This is going to be Tobacco Toscano. When it comes to a very clean and easy to wear tobacco, ladies and gentlemen, this is my pick. And of course, if you really want to go uber vintage, you know, my all time favorite is sitting right behind me. I will grab it and share with you. Um, it's a little hard to find this particular bottle with the sticker. However, if you can, this is a great aromatic take on tobacco. It's going to be a fougere with a tobacco leaf and of course a gorgeous lavender. Vintage from 1994 up until about 2000 with the sticker. If you do love the note of tobacco, but you wanted a clean aromatic tobacco, this is another choice right here, which was kind of like, um, you know, uh, um, a mystery pick, if you will. But let's carry on here. If you want a very pungent, heavy tobacco that's almost syrupy, sickly, and, and very sweet, red tobacco from Mancera is definitely one to check out. This is a beast mode. It's gonna project and it's going to last all day. Do not, I'm gonna repeat again, do not spray your white shirt. This will stain. When it comes to a powerful tobacco, red tobacco from Mancera is your pick. If you like a sickly, heavy, you know, syrupy tobacco, this is gonna be your choice. Um, if you also like a really nice made and creamy, spicy and sweet tobacco, I'd go with Saharoff Signature Tobacco. This is a great one. It's a little bit powdery as it gets to the dry down, which is something that I don't really love for a tobacco scent, but this is quite nice. There's also a nice dose of vanilla in the base, making it a little bit uh, on the gourmand side. So this is likable, also a great one. There's a leather tobacco version of this fragrance that's gonna be a little bit more pungent, a little bit stronger, a little bit bolder, which I do favor, you know, when I compare the two. I don't have that leather tobacco, but if I did, it would have been in this list here as opposed to this one right here, because this one gets a little powdery and vanillic at the base. If you want a more, you know, floral take on tobacco, perhaps you're a lady out there and you do love tobacco, but it's perhaps a very bold and pungent note for you and you can't really rock it, this is gonna be a great choice for you ladies out there. This is BDK's Tobacco Rose. This is going to be this gemmy, sweet and sassy rose that's playful, that's, you know, youthful. The tobacco here is done very nice with a lot of vanilla in this one as well. Leans almost boozy and gourmandy, very sweet in the base. You have tonka as well as, as, as that vanilla. So the tonka, the vanilla, the amber makes this very pleasant, easy to wear. And again, that rose, uh, the floral aspect that you have here is also great and very sexy, very sensual for a lady out there. Speaking of sexy and sensual for a lady out there, this one here is right in the middle. I think it's one of those androgynous, gender-free, unisex fragrances in the world of tobacco. This is Tobacco the Knee from Tom Ford. One of the most copied um, scent profiles out there. There has been a ton of fragrances, you know, in the hundreds that have this particular scent profile. However, the Tom Ford Tobacco the Knee uh, that I came to discover back in 2010, 2011, was one that I felt head over heels and I still love it to this day. Sometimes I get a craving for it, I rock this. Even though there's so many fragrances out there that do copy this profile, the original Tobacco Vanille, if you have an older bottle like myself, it is absolutely stunning. That's why so many people copy it. If you wanna stay within that profile, another one that I would highly suggest is this one here from Merchant to Venice. This is going to be um, Arabesque. Now Arabesque is going to have a very similar profile to Tobacco Vanille, adding notes of frankincense, uh, incense, some spices and resins in the base. It's going to be a spicier, more resinous version of tobacco vanille. So if you wanted something with a punch, a little bit smokier and resinous, Arabesque will be something that you would absolutely fall in love. If you do love tobacco vanille, but you wanted something bolder, stronger, more resinous and smokier, Arabesque is your fix. And then one here from Nishane. This is going to be Fan Your Flames. This is going to be a toasted coconut liqueur you know, ambery, spicy, and smoky take on tobacco. I love this stuff. It's really, really nice, very powerful. And again, that boozy with the tobacco and the toasted coconut vibe makes this a very unique cedar, oak moss, and some of the other notes. So it leans a little green and piney as well. But that tobacco with that rum and coconut accord makes this a standout, you know, tobacco fragrance to check out. If you haven't tried Fanner Flames, do try it, I think you're gonna love it. It's a very unique take on tobacco, one that I do enjoy. Whether you're looking to start wearing tobacco fragrances or you're a connoisseur, you will find something here that perhaps you haven't heard of or perhaps something you can't wait to try. And by the way, this video, this series, you know, the wow factor fragrances, we're starting with tobacco. The next one is up to you. So please sound off in the comments. Let me know in the likes. Also, let me know which one would you like to see a top video on first? Do you wanna see the best leather fragrances in the world or the best boozy? 
fastest fragrances in the world. Let me know the one that gets the most votes will be the next one here in the, ch in the channel, you know, to continue the series. So continuing here, the tobacco, we're gonna talk about this one here from Carolina Herrera. This is Mystery Tobacco. Now, Mystery Tobacco is quite similar to Red Tobacco that I talked about from Ansera. However, this is going to be more refined, a little smoother, a little creamier. There's sandalwood in the base. The notes here are a little bit more, you know, well put together, not as sharp, not as syrupy or sickly sweet as red tobacco, but sharing a lot of different, you know, common notes and accords as red tobacco. I do favor this one, hence the fact that it's on the 15th spot here at this countdown. Again, not in the top 10, but really up there, it's saying a lot. Mr. Tobacco is one that you do want to check out if you do love tobacco. Now, here's one recently discovered by me from the House of Cajon. They have a uh, private brand, a private uh, line of sorts. And this one here is called Tobacco Exquise or Exquisite Tobacco. This is going to be sweet, uh, resinous, spicy, definitely a ton of vanilla here. Uh, leans probably in the middle, doesn't smell like tobacco vanilla, but also has a universal appeal, also unisex, gender-free, um, anybody can rock. Uh, in fact, I think sometimes, you know, I get some floral aspects of the fragrance that makes it leans a little bit feminine for my taste, but it smells absolutely incredible and it's one great for compliments and performance. Tabac Exquise from Cajon, they also have a Tabac Blanc, which is actually my favorite, and they also have a Tabac Noir, which I love. I think actually Tabac Noir made my top uh, fall list of 2023. So check out uh, Cajon. It's specifically the tobacco line that they have now. It is absolutely exquisite. Speaking of exquisite, if you do love tobacco, this is a brand that you do have to try. They have two tobacco-based scents. One's called Herod, which I used to love. It has been reformulated. It's a lot weaker these days. So I favor a lot of the fragrances that I talked about here. So that fragrance did not make the list. However, this one did. This is going to be Wajan, which to me, it smells very similar to Amber Nargui from Hermes with a lot more resins, a lot more smoke. This is going to be more powerful, the bolder, definitely sweet, definitely creamy, sandalwood. Uh, you have some vetiver in the base as well. Gorgeous tobacco, cherry pipe tobacco vibe here. If you do love, you know, um, Pure Vaughn that I talked about from Mugler, you're gonna love this one. If you do love Umber and Argy, you're gonna love this one. So the price is high on this one, but this is actually one of the best Parfums de Marley's available today. Wajan, check it out if you haven't, because this one here is definitely a winner. Speaking of winners, if you do love tobacco vanille, but you wanted something a little creamier and spicier, I would highly recommend you guys trying this one here, which is a hidden jam from the house of Faydon. This is Tabac Rouge or Red Tobacco. I talked about this fragrance many years. This is actually a vintage bottle. Uh, the bottle has changed a little bit. What you find today is not gonna be exactly the same. I don't know what the current you know, formulation or performance is today, but if you can manage to find this bottle, it'll definitely be a great one. That's why I didn't make the top 10 because I don't know what the formulation of this fragrance is today, but if you do love a resinous, spicy vanilla, tobacco, you know, tonka, this stuff here is absolutely fantastic. Speaking of the top, you know, picks in this video, if you do love a pirate kind of a tobacco, one that's laced with rum, dried fruits, pineapple, you're going to love this one here, which really captures the essence of a Maduro cigar but also adds the pineapple fruity, the dried fruitness, the, the dry fruit, uh, the rum. From the house of Fort and Manly from Australia, this is Maduro, and Maduro is a fragrance that is absolutely fantastic. This is not for the faint of heart. Now we're gonna get a little you know, heavier, a little bolder, a little more pungent, and this really captures the essence of a Maduro cigar along with the rum, the spicy rum, with the pineapple, you know, dried fruits accord, this, the lather also in the base, resinous, pungent, just naturally Maduro smell. This is one that I don't pull off very often. This is, this is one that I have to wear when it's really cold out there, you know, the dead of winter, you know, late fall. I rock this fragrance and it gives me that something else, that edge, it makes me stand out in the crowd. There's nobody else smelling like me. I know for sure when I pull Maduro from Fort Malley, I know I'm standing out. So check this one out, guys. If you do love a very pungent, natural smelling Maduro cigar, this is gonna be a great one for you. Before I get into the top 10 fragrances of the best tobacco fragrances in the world, of course, you can try all the fragrances in this video, all of them, no exception, at perfume.com. Get yourself a decant just like this one, live with it, love it. Once you wear it and you know it agrees with body chemistry, you love the fragrance so much, then you can pick up an expensive bottle. So best way to do it, try it before you buy it, perfume.com, check out my code below, max12, get 12% off site-wide. Get as many decants because if you utilize the max pack, you put it in your cart, the more you check out, the more decants you pick up, no matter the size, 
the more you'll save. You get additional discounts, and then you can use the Max 12 on top of it to save a bundle. Guys, check out details below. All fragrances listed as well as Max 12, perfume.com. Enjoy. So coming in at number 10, this is going to be a great fragrance for me from the house of Amor Oud. This is a fragrance that I fell in love with. It was one of my first, you know, loves from this brand. I love the packaging. The bottles look incredible, and the fragrances are amazing. This is Oud Tabac. So this is an Oud and tobacco fragrance, as the name would imply, but it also has a boozy facet, a resinous green facet. There's also lavender, vetiver here. It smells very aromatic, very pleasant. There's nothing here that's overly done. It is done just right. If you love oud, if you love tobacco, if you love the aromatic lavender with the vetiver, it has all these facets balanced and just beautifully made, guys. Oud tobacco from Amo Oud, price per, per mil here, price per price, price per pound, performance, the smell, this stuff is one of the best fragrances with oud and tobacco money can buy. One of my favorite tobacco base scents in the world, period. At the ninth spot, this could have easily made higher on the list. The reason why it's ninth spot is because this has been reformulated at least four times that I know of, and this is from Sergio Tons, which has also pulled away from the US. You can't find this readily available here in the United States or North America for that, for that, for that matter. If you're looking for this fragrance, you gotta get it out in Europe or anywhere else in the world, but not readily available in the North America market anymore. So love Shergi. This is going to be a hay immortel flower. Take on tobacco with vanilla. It leans a little bit powdery as well in the base, but the smell of this stuff is absolutely heavenly. To me, it smells like, you know, an elixir of gods. Shergi at the ninth spot, one of my favorite tobacco fragrances in the world. Sadly at the ninth spot because it is very hard to find. At the eighth spot, if you do enjoy a very heavy, pungent, naturally smelling tobacco fragrance with vanilla in the base, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, try Habanos from Royal Crown. This stuff is a beast. Perhaps one of the most natural smelling, you know, as opposed to, perhaps one of the most natural smelling cigar uh, openings here. It is very pungent, very bold, however. It's gonna scare a lot of people away. This is not gonna be for everyone. It takes about 40 to 50 minutes for this thing to tone down and becomes a little bit more wearable and easier on the nose. Do not, this is another one, do not spray your white shirt. It will stain. It's actually quite heavily here on the color and, and, and the actual you know components and compounds. So it's going to stain your clothes, just like some of the other ones I talked about in this video. But if you do love a very pungent and strong, naturally smelling tobacco, Habanos is definitely a great one to check out. The seventh spot, this is going to be an incredible hidden gem of a fragrance from the house of Les Indemodab. This is Vanille Havan. It takes that Cuban cigar with a cocoa accord, so it has the cacao chocolatey kind of effect with vanilla. So it has some sweet facets that could be borderline gourmand, but really the tobacco opening here is uncanny. It smells just like a Cuban cigar. Absolutely fantastic, powerful stuff, long lasting. And I know that Frey heads out there, niche heads out there do love this fragrance. It's highly recommended, highly suggested by yours truly. If you do love the note of tobacco and you want something that's like a holy grail type of a fragrance with a tobacco note and the vanilla, Vanilla Vine is definitely one that you must check out. Dried fruits, rum, tobacco, and sandalwood are some of the most predominant notes with the snacks one that I'm gonna tell you about. Now's a Jovoy or Jovois. This is going to be Le Jean Sans Fin. Here's the bottle, gorgeous bottle, heavy metal cap. This is a beast of a fragrance. Believe it or not, this is my second bottle. The thing about this one here though is the tobacco is going to be laced with patchouli. So if you don't love patchouli based scents, perhaps it's not gonna be for you. Hence the fact that it's not in my top five, but it almost made at the sixth spot, Le Jean Sans Fin, a phenomenal take on the creamy sandalwood with tobacco resins uh, and the gorgeous patchouli in the base, which adds almost this cocoa, you know, chocolatey feel to the fragrance as well. This is a beast in performance and the smell is absolutely heavenly. Try this one if you haven't. The House of Jovois has some really great hidden gems that hardly gets talked about and this is one of them. Before I give you guys the top five best tobacco fragrances in the world, in my opinion, my, my favorite five I wanna tell you that you can actually get yourself a box from Scent Explore, along with a magazine from Le Parfum. And the time you actually watch on this video, you could still get a trip to New York for two, which will be announced in early November. So if you haven't already, check out Le Parfum, and I have the link below, which will give you guys a chance to win a trip for two. If you register virtually for Scent Explore, you can win a trip for two, courtesy of Le Parfum and Scent Explore. So check out details, don't miss out on that activation because it ends very soon. And of course, get yourself a Scent Explore gift box containing 35 to 45 samples from the various brands 
featured at Scent Explore, including discovery kits and individual samples. Guys, check out details below. It's going fast, but there's still hundreds to go around. It's shipped internationally for the first time ever. So if you want to guarantee your gift box, the time is now. We have, like I said, a few hundred left, but once they're gone, they're gone. You know how it goes. Scent Explore 2023, fifth annual details below. I hope to see you there virtually or in person. It's going to be one for the books. At the fifth spot here, we're going to talk about this particular fragrance from the house of Killian. One of my favorite central tobacco based scents. This is one that I heavily reach for and gravitate towards when it comes to romantic settings and Valentine's Day. This is back to black. Love the stuff. This is my second bottle of this fragrance. A gorgeous bitter tobacco fragrance with cherry. So cherry pipe tobacco, bitter, you know, sensual. There's some cocoa here as well, dark chocolate. This is sensuality in the bottle. Back to black, an amazing fragrance, guys. If you do love this dark tobacco with cherry and dark chocolate, this stuff here will scratch you right where you itch. This is not for everyone though, it's pungent, but this stuff is absolutely heavenly, especially after the first 30 minutes, when it gets into the heart and the dry down, it becomes absolutely fantastic and sensual. I do love the note of honey. I think honey and tobacco together make it for a fantastic combination. And this one here also has lavender, which is my, one of my favorite notes in perfumery, adding this aromatic, pleasant and balanced feel to this fragrance. This is going to be Naxos 1861 from the house of Serzhov, one of the best tobacco based scents in the world, talked about by many. I have yet to see a list out there talking about the best tobacco fragrances in the world that does not have Naxos from Serzhov. Guys, this is up there for a reason. If you haven't tried this fragrance, you're missing out. If you do love the note of tobacco, you owe it to yourself to check this out. And furthermore, put it in your collection. At the third spot, this is a Perhaps when it comes to vintage tobacco scents, my favorite tobacco fragrance in the world, you know, probably second to this one here, Dolce & Gabbana, pour on because I think it's a very wearable tobacco. But this here is amazing, guys. It's resinous, it's spicy, it's green, it's got oak moss. It is vaulted, it is a vintage formulation of this fragrance. Don't know exactly when this was released because Creed claims it was released in 1875. Who the hell knows? But this is my favorite tobacco fragrance when it comes to a very green, pungent and resinous tobacco fragrance. This is Vintage Tabarone from Creed. Do not, you know, confuse it with Millicene Tabarone, which is still available today. This stuff, ladies and gentlemen, is as green and pungent and resinous as they come. This is a tobacco for those people that really enjoy a true oaky, green and resinous tobacco fragrance. You can find this out there, the 75 mil bottle of this fragrance on eBay and some of the groups that I've seen fetches a very pretty penny. But I'm telling you, if you do love what you hear, definitely get yourself a bottle of this. This is one of my favorite tobacco fragrances in the world and one that I have yet to smell anything quite similar to this. At the second spot, today it's the second spot, tomorrow could be number one. This has made a lot of my lists, you know, fall, winter, resinous, wow effect fragrances, standout fragrances, you name it. This is going to be Opus 14 from Amouage. This is Royal Tobacco. Ladies and gentlemen, I reviewed this fragrance uh, last year. This won a ton of awards out there. And this particular fragrance is very complex. It's very intriguing. It's very regal take on tobacco. The tobacco here is made in the way, I said this on my review and I'll say it again. Cecile Zerhokian did a fantastic job with this creation. And I think she started a new subgenre of tobacco based scents. I can see a lot of brands out there, you know, coming up with a version of this particular fragrance. This is going to be a resinous, frankincense, smoky, vetiver, pungent take on tobacco that I've never smelled in my life. This really took me by, you know, it just woed me. When I smelled this fragrance, it floored me. I was like, wow, I need to have this. I tried a sample, I got a bottle right away. This is one of the best tobacco fragrances in the world today. If you're looking for something complex, pungent, resinous, smoky, that will hit you from all different angles, but also make you smell like a king, Royal Tobacco is one that you must check out. And my current number one favorite tobacco-based fragrance in the world today is going to be this one right here, which some say has been discontinued. I'm not sure. You could still find it kicking around. Uh, if you do like what you hear, pick up a bottle, get a sample, make sure you love it. But it is my favorite current tobacco fragrance in the market. This is Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud. I particularly love the opening of this fragrance because of the whiskey note. In fact, this will be my scent of the day today. It opens up absolutely stellar, fantastic. This is a masterpiece. The whiskey here, along with the tobacco and the wood, make a fantastic trifecta that I've never smelled before. Granted, it's going to be a little bit pungent, a little bit animalistic, but you get past that first few minutes, the magic begins. The trifecta of the whiskey, 
the tobacco, the oud, and the leathery fats that it has in the base. It's resinous, it's spicy. It is absolutely incredible. This is a head turner of a fragrance. One of my favorite Tom Ford private blends in the world, and I'm glad to still have this in my collection. In fact, I have a smaller bottle, and I have this 100 mil. Guys, do it. You owe it to yourself. If you haven't tried tobacco oud, get it. The whiskey here in the opening, along with that tobacco and the oud, it is absolutely heavenly. It's going to make you stand out in the crowd, and it's going to make you smell like a million bucks. So let me know in the comments, did I miss any tobacco-based scents that you love? Please let me know in the comments. And also, don't forget to vote on next top note, you know, X Factor or Wow Factor fragrance note that I'm going to be talking about and highly highlighting here on the channel. Whether you want to see leather or boozy scents, let me know in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for your support. If you do appreciate the channel, leave a like, subscribe for more, and of course, I will see you right here in the next one. Don't delay. Scent Explorer is right around the corner, and I really hope to see you there. We're going to have thousands of people virtually and thousands of people in person. New York City, December 1st and 2nd. It's coming up very fast, and I can't wait to see you. Guys, see you later. <laughs>